Hello, I'm John. I'm one of the Laguna Techs here today, and I have another tech tip for you guys. It's on the, what we call the puck. And this is an automatic way of measuring the height for Z0. And we're gonna do that right now. And the first thing you wanna do is grab your puck and plug it into the side where the connection is. Sometimes they're in front or on the side of the control box. You move your bit to somewhere on the, on the surface of the material you're gonna cut. And normally I have my Z0 on top. Um, I'm gonna be cutting in this area, so I'm gonna to touch off my puck over here. The reason being, if I need to make a bit change, I need to touch off that bit again, I can come back to this area which is not cut and be able to touch off that new tool I have in there. Okay, so the, the puck is in there. And now before you uh, put your, tell it to go down, uh, touching off the bit, you wanna make sure that the TTO is working correctly. And the way we're gonna do that is we start it down again. So you, to start it down, you hold down the menu key and push the on and off button one time and release the menu key and it will start going down. You can also hear it go down. And then I'm just gonna to touch the puck anywhere on the side of the bit and you should see it go up. If it doesn't go up, then we have a malfunctioning TTO and you do not want to run the test because what will happen then is it's going to drive the bit down right into your puck and probably either chip your bit or damage the puck. So it obviously did return, so it's running great. So what we're going to do now is lower the bit down and get it close to the puck. I usually get it within about a half an inch, about like that. And I'm going to again going to start it. So I'm going to hold down the menu key, push the on and off key one time, let it go and it's gonna go down. And once it makes contact with the puck, it will return. Obviously it did it. So now it's reset the zero for this height right here. Now, the only difference in this, if you think it's, the, you gotta put the correct thickness for the puck in the handheld controller. It will come preset. And if you find it cutting too deep, um, then you need to decrease the puck thickness. And that is done on here, and that's a one-time setting, and what you decide is how much you need to decrease it or increase it, and I will show you how to do that now. You basically push the menu button one time, it will default to machine setup, you hit the green button, OK, and then you scroll down about six lines, and you'll come to a line that says CAD thickness. At that point, you hit the green button, OK, and here is the cat thickness for that material right here, and it is entered 25.4. What you do here is you actually grab, to double check that, you can measure this in millimeters with your calipers and get the correct thickness in. And to change that, you just hit the run, pause, delete button and change it to whatever number you want to change it to. Mine is 25.0, so I'm going to enter that and hit enter that number 25.0 and hit the green button OK. And that's all to it. Hit stop, cancel four times to get out and you're good to go. That concludes our Laguna Tech Tip today for how to use the tool touch off or the puck. Um, if you have any more questions, you can call our 800 number or log on to LagunaTools.com. Thank you.